Hi, everybody. We're here in NEB 2022 in the Live View booth, and we're going to do a uh, conversation with Oliver Parker from Blackbird about a, a joint project that Live View and Blackbird did not that long ago uh, with an election in Germany, I believe, right? Yep. So why don't we just start out with a quick introduction? Sure. Yeah. So uh, I'm Oliver Parker. I'm the Chief Commercial Officer at Blackbird. And we're a cloud-based video editing software. So essentially what we do is we allow our customers to get to their content. That can be files or it can be live stream media. It can exist in any location. Uh, and then they create from it. But the, the difference about us is the type of tools we have in the, in, in the browser environment are you know, more complex and, and have more abilities than any other solution out there. So multi-track real-time editing with, with effects layers and all sorts of features and functions in there to allow professional content creation, but in live environments uh, and, and uh, quickly and easily as well. So. Thank you very much. Uh, and tell me a little bit about, you already gave me the intro to Blackbird as, the, as a tool as well. Tell us a little bit about the RTL CBC project. What was the goal? Sure, so, so it was quite an interesting one actually, because um, breaking with what might be traditional broadcast convention, the, uh, the broadcasters in Germany decided to work together um, on, on this project and it was driven by uh, RTL and CBC is the obviously the facilities provider who who put this together but there were a couple of things they wanted to do um, on the technical level but I think really in general it was about collaboration so RTL wanted to be able to bring in streams multiple live streams to do with the election coverage and we did this across four different elections last year um, and actually, I think we're doing some more this year. We've just, we've just won that happened last month as well. Um, so the streams are coming in. They're being gathered in the field. They've obviously also got studio content as well. Um, and they want to be able to, as you would expect, create and clip up and, and edit that media as well as doing other things on, uh, to outside of Blackbird. But they also wanted to be able to share the streams and the content and collaborate with other broadcasters um, in the region. So. So I think from, from their point of view, like I said, without getting into the kind of the technical side of things, it was really about having a scalable and collaborative platform that allowed them to, to create content and, and work together. So. And I kind of touched on a little bit there, but what were some of the things on your mind of why the Black, why Blackbird as a platform really matched that need exactly? Sure. So, um, yeah, I'm going to split that into two parts again, I think. One, again, on the, on the technical side. The way that Blackbird works is that we separate the, the user function, which is browser-based and in the cloud, from the media piece of it. So ingest and publishing and everything like that happens somewhere else. So um, what that allows us to do is to integrate into other solutions a lot better. We can be a part of a wider platform underneath us and allow access to that um, in there and obviously do that in a scalable way. So that addressed some of the needs um, but for beyond that, from the user, you know, the user experience and the and the content creation side of it, Blackbird's the only tool out there that allows any kind of even you know reasonably complex manipulation of video in a browser environment. Uh, and you know, with news, a lot of the fast turnaround content's pretty straightforward. You're going to mark an in point and mark an out point and chuck a clip out. Um, but you do regularly need to go beyond that. We've got things like blur effects in the platform. Uh, we can do obviously multi-layer picture-in-picture interview style edit layouts, uh, transitions, and, and, and uh, audio management, and, and so on. So, so Blackbird as a tool, uh, you know, answers some of the needs within the news environment that goes a little bit further than you would get from a, a simple clipping tool or, or something like that. Gotcha. Definitely sounds like a close match. So you kind of touched br very briefly on the scale. It was multiple elections, multiple times we've kind of done this joint uh, venture. What, would, what can you share about the total scale? Like, do you have any stats off the top of your head, hours of video, or? I, I, could, tr I could try and do some maths. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, so sc scale, I, like, t I, as I mentioned, is, was really important um, for, for CBC and RTL from an infrastructure point of view on, on this project. So, as with most broadcasters, maybe not even traditional ones, but certainly traditional broadcasters, they have a fixed capacity in-house, right? So they can bring a certain number of streams into their studios, and you know they do that every day. They've got streams coming from live view units in the field. They can have streams coming from the matrix, 
as well. Um, but the the proposition to increase that beyond that capacity is quite hard, and obviously that, that scaling up like that for the for these types of projects is what cloud in general is good at. So they they needed to go beyond what they had there, and. Uh, as I said before, they also had contribution coming in from other broadcasters as well. So in the end, we were up to, I think it was 21 or 22 concurrent feeds coming in from different locations across across the um, all of the elections. And, you know, all that coverage is happening predominantly over a period of, of a day or something like that. So, you know, you're bringing in whatever, four or five hundred hours of live content across every single day, you know, each day of an, of an election period. Um, and on top of that, we had other content coming in as well. So the way that worked from the live side was obviously was the, the Live View Matrix service was providing the handling of all of these streams into the cloud. And as I said before, you know, doing things out, other things outside of the Blackbird world with them as well. Um, but then there's there, anything that comes into Matrix becoming available um, in Blackbird. So t totally scalable um, on the live side. But we also bring in file based media as well. So the broadcasters can bring in supporting content, maybe some library footage, branding assets, and things like that. So all in all, there's quite a lot of content in there. Um, in terms of the scale of the, the operations, like I said before, it's a, an interesting one because of the collaborative nature. So CBC were hosting it, RTL was the driving force behind the project. But in the end, I think on the first election, there were four different broadcast parties involved. I think an, a, a fifth joined later in the year, and obviously we'll see see where we go this year. So there were four or five teams from, from different major broadcasters in, in Germany. Each of those uh, broadcasters had people obviously with access to the, to the media and they were turning around you know, quite, quite a lot of content coming out of that for publishing and distribution. So yeah, for, for each of those elections as a single day um, process, it's quite a significant amount of, of media coming out of that. Um, yeah, yeah. Which, which would have been, you know, to, to handle the streams like that, to collaborate on them, and to, to create and distribute that would have been incredibly hard to achieve across four different broadcast estates with you know with a with a traditional kind of setup if they weren't using Matrix and, and the Blackbird setup for that. Yeah. It's really a use case for cloud scale. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. And, and well, and integrated solutions in cloud scale as well, right? Because um, that's that's the key. <laughs> you can if you take, take three different things and just put them somewhere else, you're not really solving too many problems. But uh, yeah, being able to scale and do it all, you know not just us scaling and you scaling, but do it together in the same um, AWS instance, you know, creates a lot of, a lot of power there. So, yeah. so where can uh, viewers who are watching the stream find out more about Blackbird? Uh, the website's always a good bet. <laughs> um, so you can go to blackbird.video and, and have a look. Um, if you're watching the stream, you're probably not at the show, I guess. But um, if you're at the show, you can find us. We, we, we're in the West Hall. Um, we have a, a demo booth on the Microsoft pod as well, as we work with all of the you know, public cloud providers to, to support that. Um, but yeah, otherwise, otherwise, hit us up at blackbird.video. Send me an email on LinkedIn, whatever you want. Um, we're always happy to jump on the phone and talk a bit more in depth about the workflow, how we work with partners, particularly you know, partners like LiveView for these types of projects um, and, you know, dig a bit deeper into the tool and, and what it can do as well. And what's the best dinner you've had in Vegas so far? You know what, I haven't, I don't think I've eaten a vegetable since I got here. <laughs> <laughs> All steak, just so, <laughs> raw bar steak, yeah. raw bar steak. I've seen, I've seen a, I had some green, I saw some green on a plate, it was a pickle, <laughs> came with a burger. Um, but no, I had, I, was at, I had tapas last night, so it was really good, very good, yeah. Good, can't complain. All right, thank you very much. We really right. appreciate you coming on the booth. Thanks, Dan. Being part of the show.